Well, welcome to Darcy Street for the Forestry Tasmania feature match in the Southern Premier League this weekend. And it's league leaders South Hobart facing Clarence United. Of course, Clarence beat South in their last match out at a wintry Wentworth Park. Can they do it again today? Well, the odds will be against them, but let's see. Who's going to win today? Oh, well, uh, hopefully South. I no, haven't seen uh, Clarence play recently, so I'm not quite sure. 3 2. I think 4-2. Uh, 2 uh, probably 2 one And he'll be the main goal scorer? Uh, I don't know. Could be an Andy Brennan, right? I like him say what's Probably 2 three or so. Clarence. <laughs> yeah, and why's that? Um, because I play for them. I'm hoping Clarence is going to. Uh, the score, I predict 3-2.
the most recruited, aren't you? Oh, I'm a little bit disappointed. Uh, it's hard enough to play against uh, South Hobart when we've got 11 men on the park. When you've only got 10 for a fair percentage of the game, it's difficult. But I thought our boys held up pretty well. I think that three goals came probably from set pieces, which, which uh, shouldn't happen. But uh, when you've only got 10 on the park, it makes things a good. They came out in the second half with the, the feeling that they'd won the game, they'd done enough. And sometimes that you meant to relax a bit. And I thought our boys battled out really well. Um, it was a tough game today. Clarence are a really good team this year, actually. They're the only people to beat us in normal time, I think. That could be correct. Um, and they're always a threat with uh, Andrew Kent. Kent. He's, um, yeah, he's an absolute jet. He's, if you keep him facing his goalies all right, but if he's turning and running at you, it's just, there's no point in trying to tackle him because he can't. He's definitely a class above this league. So I thought we dominated proceedings, but they're one of those teams with players like him running at you and things you've always got to be wary, even when we're one or two, two nil up and still didn't feel very safe. A couple that could have maybe gone in the bag, you know, definitely better performance for us. It's um, nice to be scoring a couple of goals. I'm not through Andy Brennan for a little while. There's been a lot of talk about us. Um, not being able to score goals without him, and we have looked a bit like that in the last couple of weeks. So we're looking at bringing some other options in, and um, confidence is starting to build in other players, and people are starting to step up. A good win for us. It uh, was hard for Clarence because they went down to ten men early, so we had a little bit more freedom in the middle of the field to uh, to pass the ball around, and uh, it was difficult for them to get it to Cairns. His runs today were from a lot deeper than the last time we played them. So it was a good win for us, a good three points. Uh, at a time when we uh, uh, are very thin on the ground with players at the moment, but I think Shay just said we have a few coming back next week, so uh, they should be fresh and help the situation. Watch every game in the manner in which we do, and that's where we uh, have total respect for the opposition. Um, we train properly through the week, we train hard, we prepare ourselves well. And with these other players coming back, I mean, you remember it's like we haven't had like for two weeks now, and he's a very influential player for us. He drives the team. I thought young Nick had a great first half today, but he's not a like like Farrell. I mean, he's the driver. He drives the machine in there. So uh, yeah, we've got to keep winning the games and keep pressure on everybody else.